What is going on, gamers? It's wet, wet early. What's going on, guys? Again, you guys have been asking. It's uh, it's kind of like early for me. My fingers are cold and all that stuff. But you guys have been asking. Uh, I need flip reset. Uh, there's many ways to flip reset and all that stuff. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. Obviously, we know how to air dribble. We're past that point. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into the the uh, the whole setup. So like I said, I always do my setups towards the net. My uh, my my nose of my car is going towards the net. So we all understand that. Just like that. If you know how to air dribble, please don't skip air dribbling. Make sure you know how to air dribble before you do anything. Uh... It'll make you a better uh, aerial person. But going to the flippery sense, they're all a little bit different. Um, let me get my back mod on real quick. Just so I have my controller. It kind of gets a little different. Because there's so many different ways to approach. And to, and to you know, succeed on this uh, flip reset. I always recommend just free play. What you see, those two bars up there. Those are actually like your speed aerials. Or we'll get into that when I get it mastered i'm not mastered at it i could probably oh, wow look at that i did a really good job but um basically let's get into flip resets so you watch the ball the ball is going to come up i usually break but like not a hard break so it's a break and then jump off so it's like you see how fast i'm pressing it it's like that and the only reason i'm doing that is because i get under the ball and then i can just do that and then I can go to like a flip reset or something, right? So don't worry about getting it to the ball. Just get that down. You can even practice it like this with your like air dribbles. And you can start doing, you know, cooler things like air dribble flip resets or stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it again. Oh, I'm a little out. Like I said, this is free play, so it's all good. We know how to hit the ball. Do it one more time. All we're practicing is, is that that motion right there and then just connecting it to the ball again right so when we get that down guys this is the next part the next part's kind of weird it took me a little bit so you can do this you pull back into the boost so like you'll you'll pull your uh your car back like you don't want to like let it land on you you want to pull back so even i don't do it I didn't get my reset, but uh, yeah, let's do that. So you pull back, you let it land on you. I mean, there's only some like occasions that's okay, you know what I'm saying? But like, you see, you pull back on it, so you're you're pretty much doing this motion like that. So if you can get that down. You know what I'm saying? But don't boost into the ball. Remember, do not boost into the ball. You see? You get a flip reset, right? Uh, not my favorite way to do it. I like longer flip resets. I like the touch, the flip, and then doing something. I've, I've already explained that to you guys. So what I do is, this is what I do. I, I hit it, get the flip reset, and then do something with it. And that's because I'm more of like a, a threat into that manner um you can hold drift too i've heard that when you get the drift like when you hold drift that means like all your tires will kind of like equal onto it so you can do that too but you know what i'm saying like that's all you guys want to do right now you know you don't have to score the goal to get the flip reset you know Basically, you just train it. Like, you do it nice and simple. You know what I'm saying? Just nice, simple ones. You don't have to go super fast. Look at that. You know, we messed our musty up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look how elegant. That's the word. Elegant it looks. Look. Ah. Oh, didn't get the flipper set. That's all good. Let's try it one more time. Go to this side. And we're just up the wall. Touch. Flip reset. Cool. Right? Do it one more time. Touch. Flip reset. 
Nothing. All right. All right. So basically, next step of the flip reset is trying to figure out what you want to do with it. Um, there's kind of like a lot of like ifs, buts, and wins. You know what I'm saying? So like the the reason I say it is because like it just depends on how you hit the ball. So if you're like this, you could probably go for another one, or you know what I'm saying. And that just all like goes with high, high, like high game mech. You know, if you have high mechs, then go for another one. You know, cool. If you if you know how to musty on the ground uh, from the flick video, then you know, go for it. But if you uh, if you just if you're just like me, where it's just like I don't know, I feel like I'm more of an aerial person. Even Randy said it, so. Um, it's just I don't know. You just you just go for it. You know what I'm saying here. Look, so like, if I were if I were in game and I were to go to a flip reset, it would be right here. I'd go like this, and then depending on if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't, and I, I phase out. But again, like here, we got our flip reset. We did not get our flip reset. Nice. Uh, but basically, what I'm gonna like. Like typically do with it is I usually flick it into my roll. So I'm like that. Or if I'm this way, um, I'll flick it that way. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm using it. Uh, and I use direction roll. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look. That right there. So like my front, uh, my left front tire is like kind of like pushing it away from me. And that's kind of like what I want. So... You see what I'm saying? And then you can do, like, yeah, I don't know. There's just a bunch of ways you can do, like, how to achieve the goal. And I know that's where I got stuck on. I was like, okay, I can get the flip reset, but, like, what do I do with it now? You know what I'm saying? But it really just depends on where you're at in the field and, like, what, what your, you know, what's your opposition looking like, you know? What's the ops looking like? Are they are they on the floor? Are they on the ground? Or uh, are they floating in the air? Are they pre-jumping you? Are they giving you a little space that only only that corner can go into? You know what I'm saying? So, like, it all depends on, like, what your ops look like. You know, it could be, you know, you could do something like that. Let's at least score one so you guys can say, like, I, I'm, I can do it, right? That's probably what we should do, right? <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I know you do this in free play. You can even hit it down. And hit it like that, dude. Those are so beautiful. Rot does those. Oh my god, I love them. I've been I've been trying to do them more. Like those are sick. But uh, you know, in like in reality, like to do a perfect flip reset, you get it at the peak. Okay, so always remember that. Now I always say flip resets are you know something that you can use every day. You can like. You know, any angle you're going to go into, you should be able to figure out, like, okay, I get a flip reset here, and I can just hit it that way. You know what I'm saying? You should always think about stuff like that. So it's like, oh, I'm deep. I'm a little deep. Uh, flip reset. No, that didn't work. Okay. Even myself, like, I also, like, I like here, I'll be like, uh, I'm not going to go for a flip reset. I do it in, in ones. I do it in threes and twos. So I'm like... Oh, I got the flip reset. And I'm like, eh, I had nothing to do with it. So, like, always remember that, guys. So, if you're going to like, do these in comp, always remember that. Now, I know the hardest one is this one right here, which a lot of people kind of kind of get. It does take some work because it's a little awkward. So, you hit it out. You get it there. And then you can, like, hit it in, Okay. So always remember that. If it's going up the corner, you want to come up a little bit angled. You'll hit it out. Flip reset. And then and then you can do something with it, okay? So those are really good, too, because obviously in ones, your opponent's not expecting you to understand how to read a corner in lower ranks. Even in, like, all the way up to, like, champ rank, they kind of still don't do it. But what you don't want to do is be under the ball kind of like that. Like, like this. You kind of don't want to do this. It's a little harder because, like, you're going to be facing your net. So, it just depends on, like, what area you're going to be flip resetting in. Hit it out. You're going to come out a little bit. And, look, it's not even going to be a flip reset, but it's going to be a good corner read. Uh, same here. So, we're going to see how I'm going outwards towards my net. 
And it's just going to be a lot harder for you to do something. I also like doing this. I like coming this way and doing it like this. Okay. So let's get some speed going here. Because this is usually what I do. Come out. And then I come in. And then, you know, it just depends on how it's going to look. But for like flip resets right now, just go to the half art and just, and just practice that. You don't need to do anything with it. Just practice that. Just make sure you can get your car wheels on that ball. I didn't get a flip reset. That's kind of weird. We'll do it again. We do that weird motion like that. Got it there. Cool. And then, you know, you can even do like even cooler ones. Like I said, if you're going off the off the like falling down, you're not like really fully doing them right. Like, but like I said, it's all situational, guys. You never know when you know what happened. Jimbo, one of your ops, is up here about to challenge you like this, and you're like, "Oh, if I just don't touch it and I just let it flow," which happens a lot, you just hit it, you know. But anyway, uh, let's get back into it. So boom. I don't think we got it there. No, we did not. You could do one touch, flip reset. Oh, that would have been a nice musty too. And that's why I do one touch dribbles, guys. Or two touch dribbles. And you'll see it, look. And this is so I can get, I have more boost. And I could do something else with it. You know what I'm saying? So, let's say if we, boom, boom, boom. You know, it's, it's all... All of that, man. So I always recommend... This is what I'm saying. Like, when I do my flip resets, I always recommend just going for the extra touch. Get it over Jimmy. Your opposition, Jimmy's done. Oh, it's crap. It's a goal. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it one more time. Here we go. Boom. You know. And go from there. Also, I do want to appreciate you guys. Guys, dude, I would never think that we would have got, you know, 400 so fast. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope... Uh, you guys are learning something now. I'm not the best Rocket League player. I'm not even like subpar good in my terms. But just learning some of this stuff and you know, we don't want to be good, you know, we just want to play the damn game and look good, you know? <laughs> so it's not the wrong with it, man. It's a game, man. So boom, we get the reset. I'm not seeing up my musties. You can be slow with it too. You don't need to go fast. So don't need a sometimes I don't even break these are the breaking is old it's kind of old like um it's kind of like an older thing so you see I break there but I didn't really like break on the wall so like when you start mastering it you know you don't need to break and you're able to get up higher but uh yeah guys this has been flip reset Guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, 400 follows or subscribers. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you guys are crazy, man. Killing it. You guys are killing the videos, the dribble videos. Clip on uh, some of the viewers in stream when we do 1v1s uh, during stream hours. So if you guys want to attend to that, uh, you're more than welcome to. See right there. That was a beautiful one. But we sucked, so we missed. <laughs> but, hey, that's what free play is all about, guys. Okay? Look, I feel motivated enough if I, if I were to go in-game, I'm going to get a reset now. I am warmed up. I am ready to go, man. And like I said, guys, it's a very simple mech. Uh, just you got to learn the basics. You know, your air dribbles and your aerials and understanding how to uh, boost uh, into the ball. Like, like I call it like a spoon. It kind of feels like your spoon. Like you're, you're using a spoon, you know. So... That's the way I see it, but uh, ho hopefully that helps. But, uh, you know, get that down, and then, you know, when you start getting the reset more often, start trying to figure out how to capitalize on the reset. What can I do with it? Now, if you're more mechanical and you understand how to do, like, musties, breezies, you know, all those crazy stuff, you can do that, you know? Do that, and then, you know, musty double tap. I have a video on my short page that that's a, I've been working on, which is a flip reset musty double. And it's one of the hardest things that my fingers just does not understand. But we're getting it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would recommend, guys. Until you until you get the reset, start trying to figure out how to capitalize on it. Now, um, 
Some people like to jump as soon as they get it, and they'll pop it up in the air, and then they go for a bump, and it's a goal, which is awesome. You know, looks good when, when someone does it. I'm pretty sure uh, it's all over Twitter or whatever. But, yo, thank you, everybody. Thank you for 400 subscribers, guys. This has been a Flip Reset. I hope uh, you learned something. If you didn't, let me know. I probably correct myself here and make a better one but join the discord guys they have a clip section i want to see some flip resets this week man this month let's get it going anyway love you all thank you for subscribing and liking all that man have a good night